हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज अमोल मोरे एंड वेलकम टू अवर चैनल सोल्यूशन टू ब्लैक बुक ना टूडे वन ऑफ अवर स्टूडेंट हैज आस्ट अस दिस वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज द एरिया ऑफ द रीजन बाउंडेड बाय द पैरामेट्रिक कर द कर इज गिवन एज वाई इक्वल टू फोर माइनस टी स्क्वेर अपॉन फोर एंड एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू प्लस टी अपॉन टू समथिंग लाइक दिस ओके सो वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस कर इन डिटेल ओके and once we understand this curve we will be able uh, to get that area which is bounded by the curve and the x axis so first of all what you should understand over here is that what type of curve it is you should understand what type of curve it is okay so that can be done by various ways actually that can be done by various ways but the easiest way that i'll show you is by the elimination of the parameter you have to get rid of the parameter now how do i do that let us say 4y equals 4 minus t square simple that okay and 2x equals 2 plus t okay so what will be the value of t it will simply be 2x minus 2 very important i got the value of t in terms of x now i'll utilize it let me utilize so 4y is equal to 4 minus t square so basically t square would be equal to 4 minus 4 times y let me put the value of t as 2x minus 2 so 2x minus 2 the whole square equals 4 minus 4y let me take two common but two will be taken common with the square so it will become 4 and inside you have x minus 4 one the whole square i took two common but because of square it became 4 now just take four common over here and you will get one minus y now very interestingly as you can see i will use a red pen for the cancellations okay so x minus 1 the whole square is coming out to be equal to let me take minus common so it will be y minus 1 now you will say why did you take minus common so that's the standard procedure just have a look x minus 1 the whole square equal to minus y minus 1 doesn't it look like x square is equal to 4 by doesn't it look like that yes it definitely looks like that and this is a minus curve so i will put a minus 4 by so such curve is definitely something like this okay now you will say sir how did you know this so you should go and watch our playlist play with graphs in that this type of curves are very soon going to come in which we will be plotting such graphs so this is a parabola graph there are four types of parabola just have a look this is y square equal to 4x this is y square equal to minus 4x this is x square equal to 4by and this is x square equal to minus 4by our curve is x square equal to minus 4by so this is our curve the fourth curve which is vertically downwards okay now we need to understand that there is a shift of origin okay the vertex of this curve is nothing but 1 comma 1 how did i get that capital x is equal to x minus 1 and capital y is equal to y minus 1 that is how i got that okay so basically this is a parabola which is opening downwards okay now we need to also check that when the value of x is 0 and when the value of y is 0 and i can directly see that this curve is passing through origin but if you cannot make that out then i will show you when x is 0 okay so let me do that when x is 0 and when y is 0 so definitely this curve is going to cut y uh, sorry x because this curve is going to go like this so x will be 2 times 0 and that is what i am going to do let me rewrite the curve properly over here x minus 1 the whole square is equal to minus times of y minus 1 as y will be equal to 0 on x axis so x minus 1 the whole square has to be equal to minus 0 minus 1 so definitely x minus 1 the whole square has to be equal to 1 when you take the square root x minus 1 will be equal to 1 or x minus 1 will be equal to minus 1 because i took the square root over here x is coming out to be 2 and over here x is coming out to be 0 right okay it means y is equal to 0 at x equal to 0 which is the this point 
zero zero and which is this point two comma zero y is equal to zero at two particular points when x is zero and when x is equal to two so very nicely we have understood this graph and there's one more thing the vertex of the graph was one comma one see all the points are telling now uh, as the vertex was not that much important but you should know every single detail so as to draw the graph okay so this is our particular graph so let me draw the graph i like drawing graphs very much and you should also follow the same strategy graphs are for good okay now i'll use a very nice color for drawing the graph uh, let me say uh, we use a blue color okay so the graph is gonna go like this this is our beautiful parabola okay kya bola parabola so zero comma zero right and this is one comma one though it is not of any use over here and this is two comma zero now they have asked us the area bounded by the curve and the x axis this is our blue area right blue curve and the area bounded by x means blue curve and parallel line as you can see this particular area is what we need so very simple this area is falling on x axis so the answer will be integration y axis right integration y dx from where to where from 0 to 2 so from 0 to 2 y dx you integrate and you get this area so simple okay so let us move we have x minus 1 the whole square equal to 1 minus y this was our curve just have a look whether it is right yes 1 minus y it was so what will be y y will definitely be 1 minus x minus 1 the whole square area is nothing but integration from 0 to 2 y dx which is nothing but 0 to 1 1 minus x minus 1 the whole square dx now in this particular part you are quite a pro this will be x and then the integration of 1 and integration of x minus 1 the whole square will be x minus 1 the whole cube by 3 because it is a linear form and having a power 2 right okay let us move ahead the upper power is 2 so 2 minus 2 minus 1 the whole cube by 3 okay do not be in a hurry at this last position at this last step because people generally tend to make mistakes over here so i will put every value so that i do not commit a mistake okay so this will be 2 minus 1 by 3 because 2 minus 1 is 1 and this will be minus 1 cube is minus 1 and it will be plus 1 by 3 because there are two minuses so basically this reduces to 2 minus 2 by 3 which is nothing but 2 3 is 6 6 minus 2 4 4 by 3 square units so the correct answer to this question as we can see is just 4 by 3 square units which is option b this question was definitely very nice question in which you needed to graph it properly you needed to eliminate the parameter you needed to understand that it is a parabola you needed to understand that it is a vertically downwards parabola you needed to understand where does it cut the x-axis so it had quadratic equations also involved in it the location of roots also involved in it then you needed to understand how to calculate the area and then you needed to understand the definite integral definitely a very nice question it was an easy question though but it was a very very nice question i personally like this question very much if you liked this question the concept clarity then please hit the like button and please do not forget to subscribe to our channel solution to black book okay so that is it for the day uh, next time milte hai so this is amol more saying bye bye to you